So I remember many years ago, my brother and I had a catch up over drinks and we somehow got discussing the idea of what could men be doing to stop them having to chase women and instead have it the other way around. And he said to me, well, men need to learn to be the DJ of their niche. And I thought this was a really interesting concept. So I asked him to elaborate. And he said, well, if you think about a guy who specializes in his profession, like a DJ, who he's playing this music in a club, everyone's having a good time, he's making everyone feel good. And always around his booth, there's always women dancing and appreciating the skills that he's got. And the likelihood by the end of the night, one of the women will wanna go home with him. And you can apply this concept to literally any profession, niche or interest or hobby that someone can have. Think about even like a bartender, like they are in a situation where they can't be chasing women. They have to work, they have to be sociable and they've got a skill that is very rare and very talented. And women will be at the bars chatting to them and flirting with them. And during the night, they'll likely have other men coming over to try and chat them up. But they can't compete with the status of the guy who can make all these amazing drinks for them. And so the interesting thing that plays out here is that because the guy isn't chasing these women, because he's working, he's focusing on his skills and his profession, these women are now chasing him. So I want you to consider the idea that if you can learn to develop your reputation or your skills and status status in the, the niche that you enjoy spending time in, then there's no reason why if there are other women in that same community, why they wouldn't want to be attracted to you. So the beautiful thing, in fact, these days is that there are so many like hierarchies and communities in different hobbies and interests out there that you know, for the most geekiest guy, he doesn't have to, you know, work on his physique and be like this huge bodybuilder to get women, or he doesn't have to be the tallest person in the room, or even be the guy who's got like the best game and social skills. He could be the best computer gamer that there is and have started a YouTube channel, built a following and a fan base and suddenly have this reputation where his voice matters in his community. And because he's dedicated his years to playing games and working on his niche and growing his channel, that he has put himself in a position where the likelihood is that out of his fan base, he has got people who want to be friends with him, who want to socialize with him, spend time with him, and also want to date him as well. So no matter what niche you're in, you could be the best person painter or artist, you could be the best musician or actor or computer gamer um, or martial artist, whatever. As long as you put yourself as the best that you can be in your community that you're in and you're putting yourself out there in social environments and not worrying too much about trying to chase women but making sure that you are seen and heard by other people then there is no reason whatsoever that you will turn this circumstance around and you will find that women will instead be chasing you so do you need to be chasing women absolutely not but if you focus on dedicating yourself to being the best at a skill or a profession that you want to specialize in, whether it be for work or maybe more as a hobby or for interest, then if you've got women in that same community, in that social environment, there is no reason why you won't have women attracted to you. I am a life coach. I can hold you accountable with pushing you to be the best in your, your field or in your profession so you can put yourself in that position where hopefully one day you will have women chasing you. But other than that, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video. Like and subscribe to the channel and I will be putting out more videos, well, tomorrow.